Hi folks, it's Mike Parsons here with Bluegrass and Friends. And today, we're continuing to work on the Orange Blossom Special. So I'm just going to play it a bit for you and then come back and explain a few of the techniques that we do in this song, okay? So here we go. We kind of start out slow. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. So we're just going to cover probably the first little bit of this, okay? So what I was doing at the beginning was... Don't know if I showed you this before, but it's just the first finger on the E and a B note. And so a lot of it is the attack that you hit that note with with your bow. You know, I'm coming down with this... So you first establish the first note, and then you slide down to an E flat, and you kind of trail off that note as you're coming off of it. So. couple of open E's, that's the train bell, and I'm just plucking that with this is called, this technique is called left hand pizzicato. Now, maybe uh, if you play the violin, you're taught to use your pinky finger. I don't know that it matters. I prefer my ring finger. And so, and then there's this. So this is simulating a train getting going, okay? They start slow and they work their way up. So, so we're sliding from E flat up to E. And then this is G sharp and B together. And uh, by the way, that's not just an E note. It's E flat and B flat and sliding up to E and B. And then you hit your G sharp and then your E and B open E string and a B note over here. Back to G sharp and B. B. So you do that, slowly increasing your speed. I think it's worth time, worth it to talk about this bowing technique. So, you know, I don't have the most perfect Bowing, like you're supposed to have, you know, a violinist would be like, oh, that's terrible technique. But 
Uh, that's how I learned how to play. And no matter how I try to do this this way, I always end up being back to the way that I learned. So I'm just going to play it the way I play it. It is what it is. And that's a good lesson because you just make this your own and do what it takes to make it happen for you. There's a reason they want you to play it this way because it's easier in the long run when you go to play something hard. You will see my wrist lift off here. And you'll see my wrist, oftentimes when I come to a harder bowing part, go to the correct bowing and, and the correct grip and everything. But anyhow, the fact is I really kind of hold it like this. So anyhow, so after you go a little faster, a little faster, then you go. That's two bows on each of those things. And uh, it's not an easy thing to do, but, and so what's going on is the accompanist behind you is slowly speeding up. So now we're going about two, three, four. And then I played this one. So that's G sharp and B together. Okay, so let's slow that one down and show you exactly what's going on here. So, so you're going from G sharp and B to G natural and B flat, and then back to G sharp and B, and then another quick little slide in there, and then always that trailing off gives it kind of a lonesome whistle sound, you know. And then a couple uh, bell rings, and then you're like, a couple more bell rings, and then maybe I did this one. I think I did that somewhere in the first part. That's nothing more than a B chord. Here, the first finger on both strings. Exactly what we did over here. Okay, and then I think I did one more thing here at the beginning. I slid up here to the third position. So the third position is when your first finger is where your third finger would normally be. And so, it's not going to be where this one is. It's on a D natural note, so. So this is a D note, and now this G sharp has slid up to a B note. So that's the same thing we did down here. Something like that, and then up here. So it's hard finding these positions. Let me show you my position position shifting exercise. I have to talk slow. All right, so what I do is I play just a normal D scale. So I go D, E, F sharp, and then I shift my first finger up to play the G note. And that's how I shift positions. I get my hand used to doing that. Now I kind of cheat. I've got my wrist at the perfect uh, angle here. When it hits the fiddle, I'm pretty much in line with that. And then the same thing over here. So by playing this scale, shift, shift, D, E, F sharp, shift to G, A, B, Shift to D. Play your D up here. D, C sharp, D, A, G, F sharp, D, D. Okay, that's my position shifting exercise. Okay, so, so back in this. And then after that. What you do is the walk down to the first part of the song. All right.
right? So this is a G natural to G sharp, along with a B note here on the on the on the A string. So you go from G natural to G sharp, and then you play the B and E. So that's G natural, G sharp, E and B, again, and then back to G sharp, G natural, back to E and B, that's A and D, C sharp and E, B and E, down to an A chord. So the song actually starts... Uh, on everything here is just an E chord, so everyone's playing an E chord, dun, 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 dun. and then you walk down, e, B, C, B, A. so that's kind of what's going on, two, three, four, and then you slide down, one, two, after the walk down, now we're going to do Sliding from C natural to C sharp. I think I covered this in my other video. It's the two and two bowing pattern. So the contrast between the two and two bowing pattern and the two and one. That's an awful lot of stuff, folks. Now, I hope you get something out of this. Write me a note or send me a letter if you need more help. Remember... Have a lot of fun and keep on fiddling.